Welcome back to Fun With Guns, and today I want to go over some preparedness planning that you can do yourself a very cost-effective planning for any type of situation, but right now mainly focused on coronavirus. Uh, the CDC yesterday had released that they are acknowledging finally that this is a big issue and it is becoming a very big around the world. Uh, Italy just had an outbreak and over the past weekend it jumped uh, and the numbers jump, jumped drastically in Italy. So they're actually doing some quarantines as well. Uh, as you know, if you've been watching the news, China is doing quarantines too. Now, to start out, guys, I don't want to fear monger. I don't want to overwhelm you with a bunch of information, but there is going to be a lot of information in this video. Links down in the description for everything that I'm going to discuss, uh, besides most of the food products. You can get those at any of your grocery stores. But to start out, I do want to focus and emphasize on the sincerity of the situation no matter if you want to take it seriously or not, uh, the CDC did say that it is not if this is going to happen in the U.S., but a matter of when this is going to happen. I would imagine you're going to start seeing some outbreaks uh, and it spreading throughout cities in the next uh, few months at the rate that it has been progressing. The good thing about being in a, a civilized nation like the United States is we have a great medical uh, field and uh, they are actually doing a good job at, at trying to contain this as well. Uh, I wish that we would have been more proactive going forward up until now because we could have prevented a lot of uh, the cases that we're seeing in the States, but that goes hand in hand with other countries allowing people to leave and we can go into all that later, but today I want to focus on these things. Uh, I do want to point out also that the military and Marines uh, also are preparing and have been purchasing a lot of PPE, pr protective equipment, personal protective equipment for themselves and, and for uh, containment situations that they're expecting. Uh, that as well as filters and um, MREs, food supplies, things like that, water supplies, you're going to want to get ahead of this, guys. Now, all these things right here are things that you consume on a daily basis. Some of them may not fit what your taste buds like and what you like, but we'll go over some options that will uh, hold a good shelf life as, long, uh, as well as some longer life uh, freeze-dried and other options like that. So guys, I did do a couple videos on gas masks. I believe that these are a little bit uh, excessive for the situation, but these are awesome for CBRN, uh, ABEC P3 situations, like uh, nuclear, biological, chemical, radiation, stuff like that. This is a, gonna be a good option. Check out the Scott M95 uh, review video I did on that and you could get 40 millimeter cans for that too. They're pricey, keep that in mind. Uh, 40 millimeter filters only last about eight hours once they're uh, opened, but uh, they're definitely worth it for what they do. Uh, now, as far as just being able to uh, protect yourself from the virus uh, or viruses, things of that nature, this is a great option. 3M half masks and P100 filters. I did a review on these as well. So check those out. That's bare minimum stuff. I would not go with the M9 N95. Uh, this is an M95, big difference. I would not go with a N95, uh, Nancy 95 filter because those will have uh, leaks around the edges and they only contain 95% of particles in there. These are gonna contain 99.97% of particles in the air from the P100 or P3 filters. All right, so filters aside, check out the videos for that. As far as food, uh, let's get these guys out of the way here. Sorry, I got a lot of food and stuff laid out. It's all a mess. Um, you know, you could get the basics. You could start out, just load up. You, you know you're gonna need uh, food and water if you're under quarantine. And that's the main purpose of this. You know, we're not going to go into bug out or anything because if you are under quarantine, you're not going to be able to bug out. 
Uh, and I would highly recommend trying to stay in your home if there is a crazy situation like that uh, going on. But, you know, your basics, if you do, are on a serious budget and can't afford uh, to go all out on stuff, you know, Top Ramen, it's okay. It's not the best. It's very high in sodium, so keep that in mind. But that is an option, and it's extremely cheap. That, along with uh, your basic soups, uh, I do have some soups and stuff like that hanging out around here, too. Um, Progressive Campbell's. Uh, doesn't even have to be name brand, but these will keep for a very long time. For instance, I just recently picked this up and it, it says it's good for another two years. It will probably be good past that. Canned goods will hold their life uh, for a very long time past the expiration dates. Expiration dates are pretty much just there uh, to cover the company's tail because the nutritional value may degrade a little bit, but it's still very edible. Um, so just keep that in mind. A lot of canned goods are going to be good. Maybe uh, keep in mind also that acidic canned goods are going to not keep as long, but it is good to have those. And we're expecting this sooner than later as far as this particular situation with coronavirus. So uh, I wouldn't go and be too worried about expiration dates because this stuff may be used sooner than later and you can rotate this stuff. Make sure you only purchase stuff that you're actually going to be eating. Uh, don't go and buy a bunch of random stuff and not try it out. So just want to make sure that, you know, we make that very clear. Uh, as well as things like ramen and soups and meats and stuff and canned meats. Uh, you, you know, pastas and pasta sauce can go such a long way and really get you through some hard times. Uh, for morning stuff, you can go with oatmeal. That keeps for a very long time, as well as uh, all-in-one uh, pancake mix where you just add water and syrup. Things like that are great for breakfasty type foods. I love breakfast-style foods in the morning. That's what I like to eat. I don't like to eat uh, fish or anything crazy like that in the morning. Uh, so that's gonna help you out in that route. And like I said, these are gonna keep for a very long time. Basic things like honey and peanut butter uh, are gonna be good as well. Just you know to switch it up and keep some flavor going. Speaking of flavor, you definitely wanna have packets. Uh, now as far as like canned chicken, I got some canned chicken here, some Vienna sausages, of course, you can't go wrong with those. But these, uh, you know, adding seasoning and flavoring to these can go such a long way. And, you know, having something like that, and then also a lot of preppers uh, like these guys, you know, and I do too, I'm a fan of these pre-made pasta packs because these guys are pretty much all in one. You just add water to them and, uh, you know, you can add some of that canned chicken to really set it off. And with that canned chicken, having some uh, seasonings like taco seasoning or stuff like that is really gonna help out and add that flavor to it and cover up uh, if you are having metallic taste or anything like that out of that. Also rinsing some of these meats is really gonna help uh, kill any uh, additional flavoring that you don't like from it being canned. Now, dry goods, I have hidden underneath here in Augustin Farms, a uh, 48 hour uh, four person pack. And like them or hate them, right now Walmart has the cheapest prices on these. Uh, I try to not shop at Walmart very often, but these are a very good deal. And if you've been paying attention to the freeze-dried uh, long-term shelf life foods, they have pretty much doubled in price over the past week or so. Augustin Farms, I got a 30-month supply, some 30-month supply uh, buckets and uh, those were like, I think 70 bucks each a week ago, and now they're going for anywhere from 125 to $200 each for those buckets. It's ridiculous. But one thing to keep in mind with uh, those style foods, a lot of time the meat for them, dehydrated or freeze-dried meat is very, very expensive. You're gonna probably pay about $10 a pound for that stuff um, after it's cooked. So it's, it's gonna be, you know, once it gains that moisture and weight from being cooked, once it's, it's actually edible um, weight, you're gonna be paying about $10 a pound. So having stuff like these guys, having different meats, uh, canned meats, you know, you got corned beef hash, 
Uh, that's a, a good option. It's somewhere around here. There we go. Corned beef hash, uh, chili, uh, canned chicken. Uh, I got all sorts of fish stuff, uh, canned fish as well. But having these is great. And with the dates on these guys, they will keep for a very long time as well. As far as canned fish, uh, that's something you're going to want to test the waters with too beforehand before stocking up. So grab just a few, uh, like maybe one or two of, of a variety of different uh, fishes. We've got some wild Alaskan canned salmon. I do prefer that over, uh, I believe I have a, a bag of that salmon where it's bagged up in the bag packs, but it doesn't have as much moisture. The canned is gonna have more flavor in my personal opinion. Uh, another big uh, popular one would be uh, mackerel just canned mackerel, uh, that's a good option to, to get your fish intake. And then you could go down the route of sardines. Sardines are good with nutritional value. Uh, if you wanna test the waters, you know, you get oysters, you get um, mussels and, you know, kipper, and just all sorts of different stuff. So get a variety of stuff and test it out and see if you like it. Don't stock up on foods that you're not gonna eat but you definitely will want a variety because if you have the same food, you're gonna get that same old food syndrome uh, and you're gonna get really tired of it really quick. And people have died before during depressions and uh, times like that, hard times, where they had food available, but it was the same food and they got so tired of eating it, they just couldn't eat it anymore and they died of starvation while they had food in their pantries. So I can't stress that enough. Make sure you get a variety of stuff. Uh, water is extremely important. Uh, you need to have supplies of water. Now, as far as water goes, you know, you can get bottled waters, uh, jugs of water and stuff like that from your grocery store, and that's fine. That stuff will keep for a little while. After a while, the plastic will start to deteriorate, deteriorate and leach into the water. So keep that in mind, try to rotate that stuff out. I recommend having at least two weeks to a month uh, food and water supply because this containment period, uh, they're saying it's anywhere from two weeks to a month. So expect at least that amount of time for you to be quarantined in your home or in your local area. And you're not gonna wanna be traveling around if there's a nasty virus going around, guys. You're gonna have your masks and additional filters. I re recommend at least a few additional filters per mask per person, and possibly consider getting an additional mask in case they break or you have breakages at certain parts. So with water, it can be kind of tough. I know it can take up a lot of space, but it's very important. You can slide little pallets of water underneath your bed and find areas. You will be creative, you will find spaces. Uh, now, another great tip for having water is you need filtration. Just in case, uh, you need to have a filtration system. I do recommend for, bu uh, for bugging in and a situation where you're at, at the house to have a Berkey filtration system. Those are great. Uh, you could get a tall Berkey where it filters a few liters at a time and uh, they filter very fast. And those, uh, those filters on those are really great because they have ceramic filters where you can get like an SOS pad and you can clean the filters in between. They're good for thousands of gallons of water. Maybe purchase one of those, have a, a, an additional set or two of filters, and you're good to go for a very long time. So with that being said, if there is a clean-ish water source uh, near you that you can clean from and get to safely, which is very important, because during these times of civil unrest and quarantines and all that, people can act pretty crazy. You know, the first day or so, it might not be too bad, but a lot of people don't prepare. So keep that in mind. People can start, you know, becoming savages very quickly within a, a few days of not having food and water or electricity and the necessities or just the conveniences that they're used to. And they will seek that stuff out and prey on the weak to feed their family. I'm sure if you're in the same situation, you might do the same too. Uh, and so it's, it's a horrible thing to think about, but we gotta be real here, guys. And I'm not trying to fear monger. I'm just saying, this is a preparedness video. This is a prepper video. So like it or leave it. You know, if you don't wanna hear this stuff, get out of here and go back to your bubble. 
but we're gonna stay on topic today. So if you can get to a water source and you can get there safely, that's awesome, do that. And you could bring it back, have buckets of water or whatnot, a way to transport it back to your, to your house without spilling a bunch of it. And uh, you could use your Berkey setup to filter that, perhaps have coffee filters if you're doing it that way, so you can filter out the majority of uh, the uh, debris or particulates in the water and then put it through your Berkey. Now, to take it one step further, and this is not very expensive as far as water goes, you can get uh, 55 gallon drums. Now, you wanna make sure that they are food grade. There's diagrams and markings on the, the barrels for you to make sure they're food grade. Uh, you can get brand new ones, and that's awesome. That's the route I would suggest, but they can be very expensive, especially right now. The cheapest I've seen them right now is about $85 to $90 at the cheapest for a medical grade. Uh, but you can find them all day long on Facebook Marketplace, and you can find them on there for about five to 20 bucks used. Uh, now keep in mind with those, they are going to be used. So you wanna make sure they were used with uh, their food grade and used for a food source or, or liquid, uh, such as you know soda, uh, wine, things like that. And also a good thing to keep in mind with those is you know there's ways to clean it. Check out videos online. You can clean it with bleach and uh, um, baking soda and things like that. But it's going to have that flavor most likely even after cleaning it. So that's, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it's a survival situation, guys. Uh, you know, you could, if you can't afford a $90 55 gallon, uh, which will probably last two people just about a month, uh, I would recommend getting two, three, four, five of them if you can fit them, especially if you have a home with a dark, cool basement or uh, with a good drain source, of course, and, or, if you have like a crawl space and they can fit underneath your house. Just keep in mind, you're gonna to wanna to have a pump set up and have a, a good system planned out for how you're gonna get that water to you easily uh, and conveniently as possible. Uh, so that is something to think about. Now with the flavor on it, the Berkey system, I would suggest filtering it through that and that's gonna help cut down on that flavor too. Another step you could take is getting uh, packs for water. I, uh, this is like a propel with electrolytes. That is important. You want to make sure you're getting electrolytes and vitamins in your body and stuff like that and all the nutrients you need because you may be a little malnutritioned uh, off of survival uh, style foods, especially it's really tough to get all your nu nutrients just daily. So get vitamins, but this or perhaps like a Gatorade uh, pack you can get the tubs of Gatorade for probably under 10 bucks and it'll make a bunch it'll make a ton of drinks so you know that'll help with not getting tired of drinking water all the all the time maybe get a few different flavors you could switch it up <coughs> and then also you are going to be getting um, your electrolytes new additional nutrients and calories which are very important and getting calories with your water is going to help aid with getting calories that you're not getting from food. So those are just a few different options for water. I highly suggest them. 55 gallon drums, a good pump, some buckets to transport and stuff like that, um, a Berkey system, and you know, you're know you pretty much good to go with that. Uh, now, if you can't afford the whole Berkey system, you know, a Sawyer Mini works great. Uh, the what is it, life straws are good, but from those, from what I've seen, you have to be at the water source and uh, you're pretty much just gonna get whatever you can drink out of water source and you can't transport it back. So it is what it is with that. <clears throat> you know, I guess you could get buckets and bring it back and then um, use that at the home, but that's, that's a real pain in the butt. I would suggest maybe look into a Sawyer Mini or a different style uh, filter, a reputable filter. Don't buy Chinese stuff right now, guys. Don't buy Chinese masks or anything like that. You don't want something that's gonna come with the Wuhan on it, and you don't want something that's just a knockoff that's not really gonna work. This is life-saving and sustaining stuff. You don't wanna go cheap on it, 
But there is cheap options that are reputable, like the Sawyer Mini and Lifestraw. Just, they all have their pros and cons, so keep it in mind, do a little research, and if you have questions, chime down below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. I'm not saying I know all this stuff, guys. I'm just saying that I'm here to help you if I can. Uh, maybe think about things that you haven't thought about. Uh, this has been heavy on my heart and mind. I'm not trying to you know, go crazy about it or anything like that. I'm just trying to take precautions because YOLO, uh, I don't wanna die. <laughs> I don't want to catch the Wuhan. I don't want to catch the Corona, uh, COVID-19 or whatever they cooked up in the lab and want to name it because I don't think this was uh, naturally made. I think this was definitely uh, leaked out of a lab or possibly even uh, intentionally uh, released to the public out of that hospital in China that was uh, responsible for the last big outbreak in Wuhan. And then also there's a CNN article that's talking about a Harvard professor and a bunch of Chinese nationals. And, oh, man, it's crazy. They're sneak, trying to sneak out vials and people got arrested and he took a bunch of bribe money and they were from the Wuhan hospital out there in a vaccine situation. Yeah, dude. Uh, the WHO was just talking about how this, uh, you know, could happen. And Bill Gates, who's in charge of the vaccines and all that, was just talking about how there's going to be a major outbreak, you know, kill a bunch of people. Uh, there's a lot of uh, red flags here, guys. So I, I guess I should have brought my tinfoil. I got some, uh, but I guess I should have included that in, in this video. So back to the subject at hand. Uh, you know, having stuff, uh, cool stuff. You know, potatoes. Now, getting through the day can be tough when you're tired. So make sure you have instant coffee and creamer. Uh, that's huge. Little things like bacon bits, these last for a long time. I forgot, uh, let's see, these, they say they're good by 2022, but these are good, will be good for a while. This is a cool thing to add to your potatoes, to your pastas. If you, you know, just want to add a little bit of meat or give it a little kick, that's a great option too. And they're super cheap. Uh, having soups, you know, I know we went over that. Having mac and cheese. And all these things are great, but you do want to make sure that you are able to cook without power. That's going to be huge. Just expect the worst. Um, <clears throat> I'm not saying you're going to run out of power. You're probably not. But prepare for it. Have candles. Have flashlights. Have good lighting around your house. I did a great video on some solar paneled uh, motion detected lights. Those have been great when we didn't have power because if somebody's lurking around outside while you don't have power... Those things kick on and it's gonna let you know something's going on and you can see what's going on out there. You could also set those up for constant and all sorts of stuff. So uh, make sure you are prepared for not having power. Um, as far as cooking without power, uh, you can cook with tea light candles if you had to on your stove. I did a video on that, check it out. Uh, there's ways to get around things. You can uh, get the fuel cans. You could uh, learn how to do fires. You can have a nice fire in your backyard and then throw a can of chili on it and just have a cool little fire, you know, scenario out, out there. Um, there's ways to get around things that don't have to cost you an arm and a leg. Solar's great. I do recommend having some solar options if you could afford them. A little, even a small solar power bank with uh, some solar panels can help you out. Did a video on one of those. Check it out. Uh, I'm going to quit plugging. I'm sorry. But just having things like that, making sure your tools and all your equipment that does take batteries are charged. Having additional batteries is excellent. Uh, all these things are just good options that will help you get through a tough time and a tough situation. Uh, now, as far as your home goes, hardening your home is going to be very important. Uh, you should already have done that. But making sure if you have bushes around the yard that are perhaps like a blind spot somebody could hide behind, cut those down, trim those. Uh, if you uh, haven't yet already, get strike plates for your doors um, and replace your hardware screws with three to three and a half inch screws. You're going to get a drill bit, drill a pilot hole, and then replace those. So that way they go all the way into the studs and not just connected to that weak little trim that you have around your door. Uh, if you don't have that, somebody's going to kick your door in on the first kick. I guarantee it. Uh, also replace, you know, the hinges screws and all the screws you can replace. Uh, do that with three to three and a half inch screws and get new strike plates. 
make sure you have strong locks. If you don't, replace those with good strong locks. And those are just some precautions, and I'm not saying they're foolproof, like that's going to make it so somebody can't kick your door in, but they are going to have to kick at it for a little bit to get in. And that's going to give you an advantage and get, give you time to get your stuff and get in the fight and get in a, an advantage, a home field advantage on them. You know your home better than anybody else. You should already have plans and everything set for any situation that's going to happen and have that discussed with your loved ones, what everybody's going to do. Everybody has a plan. You're going to work together. Have that. Don't try to figure it out in the middle of a horrible situation happening because you're setting yourself up for failure. Now, as far as uh, having plans, have a plan and stick with it. The worst thing you can do to sabotage yourself is having a good plan or having a plan that's just even a plan and then steering away from it because you're doubting yourself. Get a plan, think about these things, be methodical, do some research, and stick to that plan. And make sure everybody in your house knows that plan as well and knows what their role is and what your role is in that plan. Okay, so like I said, guys, I'm not trying to get all crazy, but I'm just saying this is kind of common sense stuff. But I know it's stuff you can kind of forget about too, you know, where you're like, oh, I didn't even think about that. So why didn't I think about that ideas? Yeah. Um, in addition to canned stuff, you know, I know acidics don't last as long, but having, you know, fruits, applesauce, peaches, pineapple, stuff like that, it's it's cool to have a variety of food, and those are really good, and those will still last for a year or two at least, um, but most of this stuff is really going to keep, and like I was talking about with this uh, dry food stuff, the 48-hour packs for four people uh, I believe it's only like 1,300 calories a day based off of that. But even if you divide that in two <coughs> and get like a huge amount of calories, like 2,500, which is a lot for a survival mode bugging in situation where you're not super active. Um, these are 1997 at Walmart, uh, 20 bucks that can get two people fed very well for, um, for, for, for two days. Uh, that's, that's pretty cheap guys. It's like five, four or five bucks a day per person. And I, I'm saying you can definitely stretch this out and let's just go halfway on that and say, this is like a two person 72 hour kit. Cause that's really what it is. In my opinion, if it was four people, I would say probably 36 hours on this, but let me get this out, out here so you could see it. Cause it does have a nice supply of food in it. Um, it actually, let's see. So you have pancakes, mac and cheese, you got some rice and soups in here. And like I said, most of these, you're not going to get meat. So get canned meat, or you could buy dehydrated meat that will last a long time too. This, this guy, the date on this, I just got this. I got a couple of these and the dates on them are, let me, <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's 30 years, guys. This uh, expires in, uh, 09 of September, 2049, 49. I'm not even thinking about 2049, but, uh, yeah, that's when that expires. So that's pretty dope. Now I've gone over kind of some basic stuff. Let me just skim through here and I apologize. You know, I just wanted to get this out because the CDC did just announce this. Wow. This is a long one, guys. I apologize. My camera died or actually it just stopped. It hit the 30 minute mark on the record time. So we're at 30 minutes so far, but uh, as far as I have a list and, and that was a good time for it to die because I pretty much went over all the basics of like water, food, uh, filtration, air filtration. One last thing I want to point in with air filtration, it probably would be a good idea to get like some HEPA style filters for your house that and possibly your car. And that way you could drive on recycle, recirculate, uh, and get some good clean air that's uh, filtering out those particulates in the air. So uh, keep that in mind. That would be a huge thing too. If you run out of power though, your air ain't gonna work, but still. Um, as far as medical and cleaning supplies, that is pretty important stuff. You want to make sure you have good medical supplies. People get hurt. Anything from boo-boos to you're not feeling well because you got a cold or something. Wink, wink. 
Uh, so cold medication, uh, upset stomach, Pepto-Bismol, uh, headache medication, anything you can think of, go ahead and stock up on some of that stuff. Get multivitamins. Uh, maybe get some, uh, you know, emergency in vitamin C. So if you're not feeling well, if you want to kind of boost your immune, immune system, do that too. Uh, so that's very important stuff. Now, this one might be controversy, uh, controversial, but fish mocks, uh, like amoxicillin, uh, it's, it's made for fish, but it can be used for people. Uh, it is made, most of those are made in the same labs. You just want to double check, make sure it's made in the same labs. And they're labeled and marked, and they're the exact same thing as what people take. Uh, now, I'm not promoting self-medication, but let's say if you're in a horrible situation and you can't get to a doctor for some reason or you're quarantined and you can't get anywhere, uh, you might have to. And if it's life or death, uh, guys, if it was me or a loved one, I would attempt to do that if I knew I was going to die if I didn't. Uh, and that could help save a life. So just throwing that out there if you want. Fish mocks, you know, probably wouldn't hurt to have some of that on hand. Um, now, as far as, as medical, you know, get your medical, uh, tourniquets, chest seals, gauze, med tape, all that cool stuff. Uh, get all that because you never know. Uh, people act crazy in these situations and you might have to fight for your life. Uh, that's the reality of the situation. Now, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but there's a good possibility it is because it's happening around the world and cities, major cities especially, are being quarantined. Um, the bad thing about this virus is that it is undetectable for up to two weeks or up to a month. And people can carry it and shed it, meaning they can uh, share it and get others exposed to it without even knowing that they're sick. Uh, also, we have heard of, there's stories of cases of people getting it a second time. And the second time around, <coughs> they were very sick and uh, it can mess with your heart and really, really mess you up and possibly kill you. So uh, this is a little different than some other you know, influenzas and SARS and stuff like that where you get uh, symptoms pretty quickly. Uh, these people could be traveling all around the world. There's a guy that traveled all around the world in different countries and he was spreading it all over the place. Uh, so it could be bad really quickly. And I'm not saying this is going to kill everybody that it impacts. It's mostly people with weaker immune systems. So definitely have multivitamins, boost your immune system. Um, but yeah, just, just make sure, especially if you're elderly or have young kids that you're, uh, trying to take care of things and, and stay ahead of this. Uh, they are talking about possibly shutting down schools and work and stuff like that and quarantine in places. So just saying, you know, kids already get a bunch of colds and stuff and get sick real easily. Anyways, they're just like a little germ Petri dish at these schools. So <laughs> they are talking about some alternative stuff, like possibly uh, do, having them do it online from home and stuff. That would be really cool. I don't know why they aren't already doing that, but it is good for kids to socialize. But uh, let's get away from the indoctrination camps of schools <laughs> and get back to stuff. So right now I'm just going to go through a list kind of that I have. I, this is paragraphs. So I hope that this is entertaining for you. Uh, it's supposed to be just informative. I know it's extremely long, but I'm trying to be quick with it and not rant and ramble. So at the very minimum, I recommend 3M half mask in your size. They have different sizes, small for children, medium for women, and large for most men with P100 filters. The N95 isn't going to cut it. Boxed gloves, do not reuse them. Hand sanitizer, a pair of swimming or scientist style goggles, uh, and 77% uh, 70 alcohol in a spray bottle for decontamination. So when you're about to go back inside, spray everything down, um, including your clothes. Just go ahead and spray everything down, decontaminate, um, and, and decontaminate your mask. Remove the filters and, and clean the outside of those. Uh, clean all around your mask with that stuff. Tyvek suits are going to protect your clothes, so you're not going to have to decontaminate those as much. Uh, just the suit and you could spray it all down and stuff. Uh, so if you want to take it one step further, Tyvek suits with rubber gloves and boots along with duct tape is another low cost step. Uh, I have links in the description for all this stuff. 
Tyvek suits, you can get them for about 10 bucks. Uh, you can get rubber boots and gloves for pretty cheap, and duct tape is cheap. You might already have some. Just make sure you have enough in handy because that stuff is priceless in the shit hit the fan scenario. Uh, now, if you want to go all out, get an NBC suit along with a gas mask and CBR N or ABEC P3 40 millimeter NATO filters. Keep in mind these filters are pricey. A lot are on back order and they only last eight hours each. Compared to the P100s, those can last up to six months after you open them. Not saying stretch it out that far, but they are reusable and um, yeah. Now the 3M, yeah, I just wrote, said that. Uh, get spares and also spare half masks if you can, if you're going the route of a half mask 3M. Some P100 or P3 filters for your home wouldn't be a bad idea. We went over that. Plastic boxed uh, P100 filters uh, are going to help protect the filter from liquid and they're easier for decontamination. So you're going to be able to wipe it down and it's going to decontaminate versus these pink disc ones. They're just open. So, you know, avoid getting them wet and they're going to be harder to decontaminate. You're really not going to be able to, but you could reuse them if that makes sense. Uh, so just keep them separate from your mask. Perhaps wear gloves, disconnect them. Maybe even keep them outside <coughs> away from the mask or in a bag and throw that bag away and throw those gloves away and everything after you, you handle it uh, and put it back on. Uh, as far as survival supplies, get all the medicine and flu meds you can think of. Make sure you have sufficient medical and hygiene products, uh, toilet paper, paper towels, heavy duty trash bags, cleaning products, Lysol, bleach wipes and bleach. You need at least two weeks worth of water per person. I would recommend a month at bare minimum, unless you have a somewhat clean supply near you that isn't a risk getting to. Now keep in mind that many foods are good years past their expiration dates. Uh, that brings us to vitamins. Uh, get daily vitamins and other ones that you think you may need. They are cheap. Nature Made are a good enough brand. I, I, I believe those are good. I've done some research and those are actually FDA style approved. Um, they actually work. Uh, get a Sawyer Mini at bare minimum for water filtration. Make sure you have a way to cook without power. Uh, seasonings for your foods. Test foods and see what you like and then stock up on them. <laughs> Only get what you know you can eat and get a variety so that you don't starve yourself from not liking the food anymore. And uh, pastas and canned goods that aren't acidic, acidic will last well beyond their expiration dates. Salt, sugar, flour, rice, and beans, etc. are all great, but make sure you know how to cook with them and store them. <coughs> I am sorry, guys. I am a cough-aholic. I had... Uh, cup of cucumber water I should have brought in here um, trying to be special and do the cucumber water and lemon water uh, so know how to cook and store those those things you know those are necessities salt water sugar flour rice beans and stuff but a lot of people they just stock up on it it's like okay no know how to cook with them get the correct stuff to cook with them oil and spray and stuff have that stuff um, it is probably a good idea to get some pans that uh, you can clean with like an SOS uh, pad uh, that are non, you know, not the non-stick, but, you know, or even a uh, cast iron skillet, stuff like that, that's easier to clean with minimal effort. Now, survival foods are great, but I've seen prices double in the last week, like literally double and over double in the past week. I have seen MREs as low as $3 a pop. And they don't need water to make, or if they do, it's very little. Uh, there, there's more, of course, out there, but you know, this is kind of just some basics on food and stuff. Uh, make sure your home is hardened and you have good lighting. Uh, <coughs> I'm gonna go over this one more time. Uh, trim bushes uh, to promote th that promote blind spots. All doors should have those reinforcements we talked about. Uh, make sure you have decent locks. The, uh, those aren't kickproof, but they will give you that extra time that is so precious in a self-defense scenario. Uh, now, having boards with cutouts for windows just in case things get rough isn't a bad idea. Uh, you know, perhaps having that so that you can easily just put them up, nail them, or drill them. Make sure your power tools are, are, are powered up and, and your batteries are juiced up so you can do that. Uh, and also make sure you have nails and screws to do that too. I'd recommend having nails 
uh, because you might run out of juice and that's going to be a bitch trying to screw those in with a hand screwdriver. Uh, and that's just really hardcore getting into stuff, guys. That's like, you know, apocalyptic. Uh, you're in deep. It's bad uh, when you got to board up your windows and stuff. Motion-powered solar lights are great. Flashlights and candles. FEMA and plans like that are good guidelines at a bare minimum. If you're watching this, you're probably like me and you're not going to a FEMA camp. Um, so... <clears throat> yeah, not going to FEMA camps, but their guidelines are good bare minimum. So any, you know, any emergency sources that have guidelines, take those at a bare minimum because they usually only say supply on a week or three week, three days or something worth. No, you need to supply at least a few weeks to a month. That's a good starting point. And then from there, continue and then get three to three months, then six and then a year. And then you're sitting pretty good. Uh, going past that, you're you're awesome. You're doing really good. Um, and that's kind of where some of canning can come into place for canning food uh, to extend its life. And then also just freeze-dried or dehydrated long-term shelf life food comes into place. Now, let's see. <clears throat> when times get desperate, the thieves come out. Have systems in place for different situations have a plan and stick to it. You won't be able to bug out if you're quarantined. The best place to be is home. That, hands down, is the best thing ever. The best place is home. And where are you most comfortable at your home? Uh, where is everything you would need that you have at your home? Uh, so if, if you can avoid bugging out, definitely do it, guys. Uh, I hope this helped. Now, that's about it. I'm sure there's a ton of other stuff we can go over, but I feel this is a good starting point. Share this with your friends and loved ones. Um, share tips with them. Try to help your fellow man. Be decent people. Be good people. If it is hitting the fan, maybe consider your elderly neighbors or your, your young couple neighbors that have a baby or something. Look out for your fellow man. I don't think this is going to get as bad as people looting. I think there will be still, um, there, there will be uh, rule of law, but it might be martial law. Uh, if you look at Italy, they got guys out in the streets uh, holding uh, M4s uh, or their whatever rifles they use. Uh, so they are ready to uh, use force to make sure that these um these preparedness and quarantine uh, rules are enforced. And if you're quarantined and trying to leave in Japan or in China, uh, you're probably secretively, you're being shot and it's not being talked about on the news and you're being burned, uh, your body's being cremated in a van. That is China, that's communism, that's socialism, that shit ain't happening here. Uh, we will burn this bitch down before that happens. Uh, so do want to stress that, but here in America, good thing is we have good medicine. Uh, we have good precautions. Uh, we are not a third world country. Um, so I do hope this doesn't get too bad, but prepare for the worst, hope for the best. Get your house in order. I love you guys. That's why I'm doing this. Links down in the description. If you use those links, man, you would think I got coronavirus from the amount of times I've coughed during this, <coughs> but it's just been a long video, I guess. Uh, yeah, talking too much, but links down in there. If you use those links, uh, most of them are affiliate links. So most likely it, it may or may not, but it may help help the channel. Uh, so help me uh, if you would like uh, to support, you can use those links, but also they're just mainly there for you guys to get the, the equipment and not get hit over the head for prices. Cause I looked at each individual link. Uh, I used many of them myself and, uh, these are some of the best prices and the best reviews and the best quality customer service. Some are eBay, some are Amazon. Uh, I try to share eBay more because I found that some of the sellers are on them are less likely to be, uh, chai comms or uh you know selling you you knock off stuff don't order a gas mask from china right now it's not very smart but there is some great uh masks and stuff in the uk just expect the time to get here it's going to be longer uh so 
Love you guys. Thank you so much. Y'all stay safe. And I'll talk to you soon.